There are two main types of hammers that you're likely to come across. The framing hammer and the claw hammer. Both have their own unique advantages and disadvantages that make them better or worse for certain projects. In this video, we'll go over when you should use a framing hammer and when you should use a claw hammer to help you make the right decision for your next project. Now, let us start the video. At their simplest definition, framing hammers are designed for one thing, driving nails. They have a large head and a long handle that gives you plenty of leverage to drive nails quickly and easily. They were originally designed for woodworking and shipbuilding. Claw hammers are designed for three things, removing nails, pulling apart boards, and driving nails. The head of a claw hammer is smaller than a framing hammer, which gives you more control over your swings. The head is also curved, which allows you to use the hammer as a lever to pry nails out of wood. A framing hammer is going to be a bit larger and heavier than your typical claw hammer. The head of the framing hammer is also usually made of steel rather than forged iron like most claw hammers. Claw hammers, on the other hand, are designed for smaller nails and lighter jobs. The head of a claw hammer is usually made of forged steel, which is harder than iron. This makes it easier to pull nails out of boards without damaging the wood. The claw on a claw hammer is much sharper than the claw on a framing hammer. The major difference between these two types of hammers is the shape of their head. A framing hammer has a flat head, while a claw hammer has a curved head with a sharpened claw on one side. The flat head on a framing hammer is used for pounding nails into lumber, while the claw on a claw hammer is used for extracting nails from lumber. Additionally, a framing hammer is typically going to be heavier than a claw hammer. For example, 16 oz. The framing hammer will weigh in at 1 pound. A claw hammer will only weigh about 3 slash 4 of a pound. Really, the only similarity between these two hammers is that. In terms of size, both hammers have a long handle and a relatively small head. They are also both designed to drive nails. Framing hammers can vary in price from $20, $300. This vast difference is due to the hammer's different features, such as weight, handle length, and head material. Claw hammers are generally less expensive, with prices ranging from $5, $50. This is due to the fact that they are not as specialized as framing hammers and thus do not need to have as many special features when it comes to their materials, texturing, and weight. When it comes to choosing between a framing hammer or claw hammer, there is no clear winner. It really depends on the project you're working on, or if you know what kind of projects you'll be working on most often, you can choose the hammer that's best suited for those tasks. Whichever way you go, just make sure you have a good quality hammer that feels comfortable in your hand. With the right tool, any project will be a breeze. Overall, if you could only buy one, you would choose a claw hammer. It's a versatile tool that can be used for big and small projects. Not to mention, it's less likely to damage your project. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.